after the tone. Hi, my name is Vinod Kumar Shetty. I'm a senior consultant with Informatica. With this presentation, I would like to give you an overview of the conversion tool we have recently built to convert your existing Oracle Warehouse Builder code base to Informatica Power Center base. Here is the agenda. I would like to start my presentation by comparing similarities and differences between Informatica Power Center and Oracle Warehouse Builder. Then I will move on to discuss our OWP to Power Center conversion tool, how we have designed it, what all features supported as of now, and why use this conversion tool. At the end, I will conclude my presentation by giving a short demo of this conversion tool. Here are some of the similarities and differences between OWB and Informatica. OWB is tightly coupled with the Oracle database and it's more of an ENT tool which loads data to Oracle and does all the transformations. Whereas Informatica has got its own server where it does all the transformations and can load any target, not only database targets. Both Informatica and OWP store their metadata in databases, which can be exported and imported as XMLs. This is one similarity. The other one is structure of the jobs. Both the tools will have set of sources, undergoing some transformation, finally getting loaded to some targets. So that is another similarity. Recently, Oracle has announced version 11.2 will be the last version because they are moving to ODI, which is the new DI tool. Now we see a lot of OWP customers who are migrating to Informatica as their data integration solution. Let's get into some technical details now. Here is the metadata structure of OWP export of a mapping. Top, you can see mapping name, STG daily products. It has got a transformation aggregator and so on. Now let's look at Informatica Power Center job export. Something similar you can see. Mapping name, set of transformations like aggregator, expression, etc. If you look at these two XMLs, so this is something possible to convert from one format to another format. We already have data required in XML format. It's just a matter of converting from one XML format to another XML format. OWP2 Power Center Conversion Tool. In our previous slide, we saw how the metadata is structured in OWP and in Power Center. Both has got the data required in XML format. This conversion tool is built using Informatica B2B data transformation tool, which has got a lot of inbuilt functions to handle complex XMLs. This tool takes OWP XML as an input, converts it into an equivalent power center XML format. Once you have the converted power center XML, it is just like importing any other power center mappings or workflows. Here is the working of our conversion tool. It is very simple. You just have to feed OWD exported XML and you will get Power Center XML as an output, which can be imported in Power Center. As simple as that. Currently, the tool supports OWD process flows, OWD mappings, stored procedure calls. Uh, if there are any stored procedure calls in your mappings, that will be ported. Functions. Parameters. Uh, if you have any parameters defined in your mappings or process flow, it gets ported to the power center as is. Here is the list of transformations what we currently support. From the mapping transformation side, we support table, lookup, expression, filter, aggregation, etc. Uh, when it comes to process flows, we support assign, email, 
mapping is something similar to question in Thomas Center and or fork, etc. These are all the purposes of tasks we support. Let's look at an example of how OWP mapping gets converted to the power center mapping. Here is the OW mapping, which has got flat file, aggregator, expression, and two different targets getting loaded. Now you see the power center mapping, which has got all the objects as above, flat file, aggregator, expression, lookup, and two different targets. And it has got all the fields and transformation property, such as like what was the local condition and what was the port used for the aggregator group bar, etc. In power center converted mapping. Here is an example of process flow conversion. OWP process flow has got mapping, access email, email, and filler email. And equivalent power center workflow can be seen here, which has got a session in place of mapping and email task as above. Even the link conditions has been ported from OWB to power center. The mapping gets succeeded, success email gets triggered. If the mapping fails for some reason, the email failure gets triggered. So I'm showing simple mappings and workflows here in the presentation. This tool can convert really complex mappings with many transformations or tasks. Before we actually start the migration project, it is necessary to know the complexity of this project. We need to know how many mappings, process flows we have, and how complex they are. For this purpose, we have a tool which is packaged for this conversion tool, which goes through OWB export dump, which can have all the mappings and process flows you have in your organization, and generates a report. This report is very detailed and really useful in planning the migration project. Here is the sample report snippet. It has got mapping section and process flow section. It tells you how many of your mappings are simple, complex, very complex, etc. Same with the process flows. Using this sheet, you can come out with an estimate for your project, like how many man days you need, etc. In this sample, you can see 34 mappings, three very complex mappings, and 17 simple mappings, etc. This is not the full report. In full report, you can see each mapping level, what all transformations being used. Even for the process, le process flows, you will be able to see what all tasks being used. That's a default detailed report. You can have it in, in front of you before you make a decision, like how many mandates you need and what all needs to be automated and what needs to be taken manually. This report comes really handy in such situation. So why should you go for an automated conversion tool? Why not manually migrate everything? If you take a simple use case where an organization had like 1,000 OWP mappings, even if you consider all of them as simple, it requires at least 300 to 400 man days to convert them to power center mappings. If you use this conversion tool, it is going to reduce 80 to 90 percent of your efforts. So definitely faster, and it will cost you less. And it is more consistent. If you look at it, it will convert all the logic and naming standards as if from the OWB into Power Center, Informatica Power Center. So it will be more consistent than doing manually converting them to a OWB mappings. One more key feature here is this tool can be extended to have your organization specific needs. While you're doing this conversion from OWB to Power Center, 
like which can improve your job efficiency or easy to manage such requirement can be incorporated in this tool and when you have the percentage jobs it will be definitely better than the one of the jobs let's look at a short demo of how we are going to convert odp mapping export to equivalent positive mapping export now we are looking at odp designer which has got the simple mapping stg daily products now i'm going to export this mapping to put it through our conversion tool to see how the conversion goes I need to select this export with all dependencies and let me choose demo as the file name. Export is done. I'll take this sample. demo is our sample so i'll open this this is our xml file demo.mdx so the zip file i need to open and i need to extract this mdx file out of it which is our xml file so this is our project our conversion tool which goes through this xml passes the information which is required and converts it into an percentage of xml so when i run this conversion tool this will ask for me to choose the owb export file this is the owb export file which is i'm going to select now project is successful i'm trying to open the converted file from the converted file okay this is our thousand equal and xml file which i am going to import it using informatica repository manager Now you can see all the objects, sources, and targets goes to a separate shared folder, and the project folder will just have the shortcuts, the flat file shortcut, table shortcut, and it will have the mapping and the session. It is not having any workflow or workflow, just because we exported the mapping, not the process flow in the order to be. So let me add all the objects. in this folder For general schema, I already have a folder, so it is automatically resolved. For the project folder, I have chosen a new folder where it has to import. Import is going on. import has been completed successfully
let me go to the map designer and reconnect to this folder to Here we can see the shortcuts which got created, source and target submission, and the mapping. Okay, this mapping has got all the objects what we saw here in OWB. Lookup, expression, aggregator, flat file, and the targets matches. But this map we still have some problem. So the conversion tool doesn't take care of the field level logic. So whatever the expressions or if we have the join conditions or the lookup condition, it will be ported the Informatica as is. It will not take care of converting these logics to power center equivalent. So this is something we need to take care of manually. If I comment these expressions, let's open aggregator. So whatever the logic was there, in order to be, it has been ported as is. So there is a logic to sum this product price, so which is valid in power center. But we have to understand the power the conversion tool is not converting field level logic from OWP to power center. Whatever the expression we have in OWP will be populated in power center as is. So it could be valid, it could be invalid. If there are transformations which has got fields with a Invalid expression that needs to be taken care of manually. Coming back to the presentation, how to get this tool? You need to go for IPS engagement so that we will help you convert your OWP code base to Informatica and we will involved in uh, enablement, KT, and if required, by extension of the tool. So that will be part of the IPS engagement. For more details, please contact Official Director Informatica Professional Services. Thank you for your time. Good luck with your project.